Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can complete the gold vaults in Sea of Thieves, even as a solo player. I'm not going to waste any of your time, so let's get straight on into the video. Now what you're going to want to do is raise an emissary flag for the gold hoarders. Now once you have done this, go on over to the gold hoarder and purchase yourself an ancient vault quest which should be on the very far left of his available quests to purchase. Once you have done this, you're going to go on over to your ship's voyage table and propose the voyage and vote on it just to start it up like you would any other voyage. Once you have done this, you're going to receive a golden wayfinder compass in your map radial. Now once you pull this out, it's going to spin around a little bit but eventually it will stop and it will point towards an island. You're just going to head in this direction until you reach the island. Once you reach the island, you're just going to walk around until the compass starts to wobble a lot more and then eventually it starts doing circles. This is where you're going to want to dig in the ground. When you dig in the ground, you will actually uncover a map parchment and it will give you a map piece in your map wheel. And gold hoarder skeletons will actually spawn around you and upon defeating these, they drop artifacts such as opulent curios or adorned receptacles. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pick these up, get your emissary reputation up and go and bring them back to your ship. Or as you can see here, I'm just dropping them so I can harpoon them after I've got them all in the same place. Oh, as you can see here, one of the skeletons got away from me. I'm just going to go and uh, kill him and pick up his artifact, which he dropped. And as you can see, when I pick this up, I actually get grade two emissary flag. Now, this is actually really good because it means that I'm going to get extra gold from this vault. So, yeah make sure you pick up the artifacts. As you can see here, I actually went back to my ship and brought out my compass again to see if I was going to a different island. And I actually had another map dig on the same island. Now, if you get a big island, you will most likely have more than one digs on this island. So once you dig up the first one, don't just run away, actually check to see if you need to stay on that island or not. As you can see here, I go over, dig up my map parchment, get some more emissary reputation. And I also get more gold hoarder skeletons spawning around me. I defeat them again. This time I only get one trinket, but that's fine because it's still reputation and gold at the end of the day. And I also find a robo on my island. Now this is actually very good because it lowers the time it takes to transfer the loot from the vault to my ship. As I can just put all of the loot on the robo and then row it back to my ship. Now, as you can see here, the map parchment pieces that I got actually take me to Lone Cove. And I have the X marks the spot for the dig spot. Now, you could actually follow the compass some more to go and get more digs and more emissary reputation, more trinkets, but I'm just doing this for a video, so I'm not actually going to go and do it. I'm just going to go and dig up the key. Once you arrive at the island with the dig spot, you'll head over to the X, dig up a collector's chest. Now, in this collector's chest is the vault key you need in order to complete this vault. And also more gold hoarder skeletons spawn around you so you get more trinkets and more emissary reputation. Now inside of the collector's chest it will tell you what island you need to go to because the key will be named something like the Crescent Isle Gold Key. Once you reach the island where the key leads you, you're going to bring the collector's chest with the key inside with you as it makes transferring the artifacts from the vault a lot quicker. Now, as you can see here, I'm just going to drop the collector's chest, pull out the key and place it on this totem and the door is going to open. Now you're going to want to go down this stony pathway and place your collector chest just as shown as it makes depositing the trinkets a lot easier. Now, when the doors open and you walk in, you're actually going to see a lot of gold and a lot of chests and it's easy to rush for them and start putting them outside. But what you actually want to do is walk quite far backwards like I have done just here. And as you can see, there are two glints which actually don't point to any treasure. They're just kind of floating in the air. They're not like on top of a chest, like nothing else is shining. It's just these two random glints in the air. This is because they are the medallions to unlock the ancient tribute's chest. Now, as you can see here, I'm just gonna run for the one on the right, go and pick that up and insert it into the table. And then I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna go for the one on the left, pick this up, insert it into the table. And as you can see here, the two images which have come up is a chalice and a lock with a key pointing down. Now on the first pillar, I'm going to put in the chalice. In the second one, lock with a key pointing down. And I'm going to head on over to the very far right pillar, which is the fourth one, and look for one with a chalice and the lock with a key pointing down. And then an image which is remaining. 
As you can see here, it is the two vertical chains. This means the third pillar must be the three, or sorry, the two vertical chains. So I'm gonna go and change the third pillar to the chains and then go and insert the combination to the table and the door will unlock itself. Now you just wanna grab the ancient tributes chest and get the hell out of there with the rest of the loot as much as you can. So you're gonna grab the captain's chests, the marauder chests, all of the uh, jewel trinkets, uh, all of that stuff, but I'm not going to show you that because that's just a waste of time. Now, after a certain amount of time, the doors are going to close on you and the vault is going to start filling up with water. And it's at this point where you want to pick up the gold piles which are on the floor. You're going to end up drowning, but that's okay because you're actually going to get a lot of gold from this. Uh, well, you'll get a little bit, maybe like 2 to 3k, but it's actually worth it. Once you get all of the loot out, you're going to want to go and transfer it to your ship. Now you can either do this by putting it onto a robo or putting it within harpoon range of your ship. However, different islands will allow you to do different things. So yeah, just do it the easiest way you can. And obviously, as you can see here, when I actually harpoon a bit of loot and pick it up and drop it on the ship, it actually still gives me emissary reputation, which as you can see, is actually going to increase me pretty high up to where I'm almost grade four gold hoarders. Now, if I had gone for the other map pieces, I would be grade 4. So if you want to do it for gold, maybe going for all of the map pieces is the best way. Now we're going to go over and sell all of our loot. Now unfortunately I sold this during a gold rush event and I didn't even realise, so I'm just going to divide the amount by 1.5. I actually made sadly only about 34,000 gold from this. Bear in mind this is only with a grade 3 emissary reputation so it's not actually the most amount bonus so if you had a grade 5 this actually would have given you a lot more however that about wraps it up for today's video if you have enjoyed please consider subscribing it's greatly appreciated every single one of you are really appreciated we're growing crazy fast right now and it's amazing to see the community growing on a similar note, if you haven't already, please consider joining our Discord. It is in the description, so just look out for that. We plan on hosting many community events and gaming sessions and whatnot. You also get to see stuff in the video beforehand, and you also just get to chat with us and interact with us and just, you know, kind of be more involved in the community. Anyway, that about wraps it up. Please leave a like, consider subscribing, leave a comment. We try to reply to every single comment possible, but uh, yeah. That's been us, uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.